More and more workloads have become virtualized, and the business demands 24-7 uptime. This can be challenging when it comes to protecting and recovering virtual machine environments, especially in a disaster recovery scenario. With Commvault, we've got you covered with a number of live data access options to meet your business needs. In today's example, we'll power on a virtual machine from the secondary copy and immediately live migrate it into production using Commvault Live Recovery. We start in the Commvault Command Center. Select Protected under VMs to immediately see all of the protected virtual machines. Here, you can choose the virtual machine you want to immediately recover. Under Actions, select the Options button and click Restore. Here, you are presented with all the restore types available for this VM. Click Live Recovery. You have some powerful customization options which provide a number of recovery options, such as creating a new VM instance or clone. You can even choose a different recovery point by clicking the drop-down menu next to Showing Latest Backup and selecting Show Backup as of a specific date. Once you have selected the recovery point and which vCenter environment you want to recover to, click Next. Some final options are presented. Click the slider to enable Restore Virtual Machine using Live Recovery with vMotion, and then click Submit. It's that easy. The entire process is automated by Commvault, driving all activity and provisioning in VMware, including provisioning of the data store and registration of the virtual machine in vCenter, followed by triggering of the vMotion job to the production data store. The required virtual machine is powered on within seconds and is accessible to the business while being put into production, giving you peace of mind, business continuity, and disaster recovery, all driven from the Commvault Command Center. Thanks for watching.